This is WBGG TV. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another riveting episode of WBGG TV News. I am Miss Burns. And I'm Miss Dahmer coming to you this week from my kitchen. Instead of stories this week, we wanted to share a quote with you all. A mother is a child's first teacher. As we all know, we have just celebrated a very important holiday, Mother's Day. And as your teachers, we want to remind you that you have the most important and caring teachers right there at home beside you, your mothers. Whether it's a mother, aunt, grandma, older sister, or another special lady in your life, we know they are some of the best teachers that you'll ever have. This week, we wanted to honor our mothers and thank them for all they have done for us. Thanks, moms. Beautiful. to another week of Press Lives Picks. Today uh, we are going to do some juggling in the drizzling rain and we're going to find out who's the better juggler. Are you ready? ready. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next week. This week's weather reports come to you from some of your fifth grade classmates. If you'd like to be featured next week on WBGG News, send a video of you giving the weather report to my email at cwiley at glenview34.org. C-W-I-L-E-Y at glenview34.org. The weather this week is going to be on Monday. It's going to be a high of 48 and a low of 37, and it'll be partly cloudy, partly sunny, so not a bad day to go outside. I have my assistant, Google. Hey, Google, say hello. Hi, what can I do for you? Can you tell me the weather for Monday? Monday in Glenview, it'll be partly cloudy, with a high of 49 and a low of 37. Thank you, Google. Today's weather is 200 degrees Fahrenheit, so hot that coronavirus has melted away. People are cheering from all around the world. Yay! Now things are getting back to business. People are going outside and being happy. That's it for my weather report in WBGG News. Welcome to the weather segment of WBGG News, starring me and guest star, my sister. On Monday, it will be raining cats and dogs. One of the specimens we caught is right here. Oh, 
it, it's a dog, a very friendly one. It's really cloudy, but now it got kind of sunnier. It's still super cold. I think it's like 40 degrees right now or something. And yeah, it's super cold. I know I've said that like a thousand times, but it really is. On Tuesday, we will experience very high winds with the temperature of 41, and the winds will reach 75 miles an hour. On Wednesday, it will be the rec a very hot day in Illinois. It will be 102 degrees, so you can fry a pancake outside. Make sure to tell your parents that. There is supposed to be sun, clouds, rain, or anything else that could happen. Who knows? It's got a chance of everything. Tuesday could have sun. Clouds, rain, overcast, whatever. Same thing. It could be anything. And that repeats. So really, do we even know the weather? Like, it could be anything. It could be sun, cloudy, partly cloudy, full rain, thunderstorms. Who knows? Like, how are we supposed to know? Thank you to all of my student reporters this week. We'll see if they're correct about their weather forecast for the week. Now, on to Miss Peterson with her pet segment. Thanks, Miss Wiley. This week on Pets with Peterson, let's first take a look at one Voyager student with a dog named Murphy. Murphy likes to lay down and look between his family members. Let's take a look. going on inside their head. So this week on Pets with Peterson, we actually didn't get that many student submissions, so we're going to take another look at my dogs, Bo and Maisie. You've seen them on this segment before, and they were all cuddled up together, but they haven't always acted that way. In fact, when we first got Maisie, Bo was a little bit afraid of her and refused to share a water dish with her. Let's take a look at some examples of this. a very long time before he grew to like her. At first, Maisie did everything she could to annoy him, and Bo just kind of laid there and tolerated her. He even tried to avoid her at some points. Let's take a look. absolutely adores Bo. And Bo, well, he tolerates her. But that's all we have time for for today. Thanks for watching Pets with Peterson. Don't forget to send in more student submissions. Now on to you, Miss Simo. Hi there, it's me again, your favorite sports reporter coming at you live from a basement somewhere in the suburbs. It's currently raining outside, so I can't film in my backyard, but that's okay, because this week I'm bringing you fun sports trivia. I don't know a whole lot about sports, but I sure do love trivia, especially when it's fun. First, did you know that golf is the only sport ever to be played on the moon? That's right. On February 6th, 1971, astronaut and golfer Alan Shepard turned the Apollo 14 landing site into a driving range. 
Apollo 14 Commander Shepard was the first American astronaut in space, but today he's almost as well known as the first, and so far only, person to hit a golf ball on the moon. Thanks to NASA for that fun fact. And finally, Major League Baseball umpires are required to wear black underpants while on the job in case they split their pants, which, as you can imagine, is a real fear. Nope, no hearts, stripes, or polka dots here, folks. And finally, I bring you this sports clip of a few gators chasing a birdie around in the backyard. Oh, no, don't worry, it's a plastic birdie because the game is badminton. No wildlife was harmed in the making of this sports segment. That's it for me this week. Don't forget to send your sports trivia or sports videos to Miss Simo or your homeroom teacher. Now, off to Miss Kudeki. Have a great week. Mrs. Cabot and Miss Joaquin, how are you all? Good. Good. Thank you both for being here. So I just have a couple of questions for you both so that our fifth graders can catch up with you a little bit. And we'll start with Ms. Cabot. Um, so just can you tell us a little bit about what you've been up to since we've been out of school doing e-learning? Well, I've been trying to learn all the new technologies, uh, like creating lessons online for my students with Quaver music and um, learning how to use Zoom. Um, just doing everything I can to try to find ways to engage my students. I know they're all coming from different backgrounds and a lot of different things are going on in their houses. So just trying to find ways to make learning still fun and manageable for them and then still having a chance to see them a little bit every week with our Zoom classes. Yeah, that's great. That's what I've been doing work-wise. Personally, I've been, uh, I've been trying to relax a little bit with some painting. So I've been doing a lot of paint. I don't know if you can see this. Oh, wow. yeah. These are paint, paint, by, paint by numbers, which, uh, I love to do artwork, but I never have time to do artwork when I'm teaching. And so um, I've been doing some painting. I've been trying to teach myself to play the guitar because I always wanted to, to be a guitar player too. And then um, I'm practicing like some new harder things for our ukulele. So that's kind of what I've been up to. Okay. I'm watching a lot of Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, my only other question for you, is there is there anything you'd like to say to the fifth graders? You know, their year is ending a little bit differently than they would have expected. So is there anything you want to say to them? Yeah. Well, I just want to say um, I think you guys have been um, an amazing group of fifth graders. And I feel so sad that we couldn't do the musical the way we wanted to do it but I am super proud of them for persevering and, and proud that we're gonna still do a virtual musical. I am really proud of the things I've seen them doing in our sharing days and just, you know, the respectful way that they've acted whenever we've gotten together. They've been, they've been an, an amazing group, one of the best groups of fifth graders that I've ever had at Glen Grove. And I'm, I'm really going to miss them. They're special. Sorry, I'm getting emotional. <laughs> That's okay. Well, thank you. I'm sure they, I know they miss you guys too. Um, miss Joaquin, we can switch over to you. Is there anything that you've been doing during this time when we're e-learning? Anything, any new hobbies or anything like that? So just like Mrs. Cabot, I've been seeing some of my students online. It's been really great to see you guys, especially my fifth graders. It's been great to see you. Um, as terms of hobbies, I do a lot of different arts and crafts. So um, one of the things that I started working on um, is I actually make book bags. So as you can see, it's a book purse. So I actually got this thesaurus from um, Mrs. Sockover. So thank you to her. So yes, I, I've been working on that. I also do calligraphy, so I've been um, practicing using my fountain pens and writing the old way with an inkwell, so that's been fun. Um, and I also write books, so I have been doing a lot of writing, so 
that's been, it's been really nice to have that time to do all yeah. the things that you usually don't get to do until maybe the summer. So. Yeah, definitely. Sounds like you've been keeping busy as well. And is there anything you'd like to tell our fifth graders for the end of the year? Uh, that um, it's been really great to have you guys as part of the Glen Grove community. Uh, I've seen you guys since last year. So starting when you were in fourth grade and um, I know that it's, it's tough that things are a little different right now, but the most important thing is that we are all sticking, we're all staying together. We're all still having a community. We are here for you, even though we're, we're separate right now because we're socially distancing. We're still together because we're here for you. Definitely. All right, ladies. Well, that is all the time that we have today. Thank you so much for doing this. And I know our fifth graders will appreciate it. Thank you for doing this too. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Thanks so much to our special guests. Fifth graders, don't forget to send your questions for teachers to mkadecki at glenview34.org. Now back to the studio. Well, that just about does it for our sixth episode of WBGG TV News. Hard to believe we've already made this many episodes. Wowzers. You know, Miss Dahmer, it is nice to have some of that consistency. Knowing something like this can bring just a little bit of joy to our uncertain lives right now. Right you are, Miss Burns. And with that, we hope you have a great week and we'll see you back here again next week for episode number seven. Take it away, Miss Preslack and Mrs. Warren. Hello, Gators! Here we go. One, two, has been a Voyager team production. Thank you for watching. Beautiful. Well done. Beautiful. Look at us. Beautiful. Folks. We're so beautiful. Good. Well, that's just... <laughs> 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 and, and scene. <laughs> okay, let's hit this.